Welcome back, you gorgeous, gorgeous weirdos. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to do something different today. So I know that there are a lot of people that have gel allergies, but want to do like neat little designs using dip powder. And I found something that might be a viable hack, if you want to call it, allowing you to do some, some nail art. I'm not saying all of it, but some good nail art not using gel and this is what I found. So I went on Amazon and I found these disposable, they're labeled as eyeliner brushes. This is what they look like. They are super thin. They're like detail liner brushes, but I figured we can use these, dip them into our dip base coat and do line work on our nails. And then we don't have to worry about ruining a nail art brush because if you've ever tried doing nail art with an actual nail art brush and your dip liquids, your brush is going to be ruined. But this, you can just chuck when you're done. So we're going to try it out today. I am going to be doing a regular dip application before we get into that. So if you want to fast forward to the nail art part, you can feel free to go do that. I'll leave timestamps down below, but we're going to get into the dip application first. I'm using colors by Sassy Mouth Dip Powder. This particular one, it's called Nessie. It was part of her um, They Do Exist collection. I love this glitter. I've been on a green journey lately and I don't know why, but I'm kind of loving it. I, I said it in a previous video. I think I'm a green girl now. This might be my new favorite color and this glitter is so stunningly beautiful. Wait till you guys see it top coated. So this is a fine glitter mix no chunkies in here which you know i i'm not a fan of chunky glitter not that it's not beautiful it really is i see some glitter manicures with chunky glitters and i just swoon they're so beautiful but for me i just it's a lot of effort <laughs> it's a lot of effort it's a lot of fuss it's very bulky on the nail usually there are ways to do it so it's not so bulky but it's just not my thing the fine glitters like this one though chef's kiss this is my jam and these glitters are really so gorgeous if you are into glitters but you don't want to deal with the chunks i get it this is going to be your cup of tea sassy mouth has a bunch of them on her website definitely feel free to head over there and check them out i am an affiliate for sassy mouth if you want to use my discount code you totally can it's marla 10 i'll make sure to leave that down below as well it'll save you 10 percent, and i will make a small commission with no extra charge to you. So if you do use my code, I super appreciate you. As you can see, I'm using my orange wood stick to clean up any glitters that may have fallen into that little cuticle line over there. Totally simple cleanup. Of course, again, that's gonna depend on your dip liquids. I use the Azure Beauty Dip Liquids, which I love with my whole entire heart. They're my current faves. I've been using them exclusively for what feels like forever. I like them because they're a medium dry time and they're a thin consistency. So I don't typically flood my cuticles with these, even though they're thin, they level out beautifully. You have some time to do cleanup. You have time to do an ombre if that's what you want to do or a French manicure without this drying down super fast. I get so many questions literally every day, especially in my Facebook group about why I love the Azure liquids. And this is why they're just elite in my eyes. I love them. I will not be using any other liquids for the foreseeable future unless something comes around that just is better <laughs> will that happen i don't know but until then i'm using the azure liquids so i'm going to do a second coat of this then we're going to move on to just some basic white dip powder i'm a big fan of the whipped cream bikini from sassy mouth it is my current favorite milky white it's not a stark white it's not like you know ross geller's teeth white if you know you know <laughs> but it's such a beautiful white. Something to keep in mind, especially if you're super new to dipping or if you've been dipping for a while and you're not sure why you're having issues, not all products are created equal. They're just not, some are better than others. And I know that on my channel, at least, I predominantly use two companies for dip powders, at least. I use Sassy Mouth and I use Model Ones. And that is because those are my top two favorite dip companies of all time ever for product quality every time i use either one of their products it's the easiest application i barely have to file and buff everything applies so beautifully so smoothly the powders are soft and they're they're a, a pleasure to work with so if you've been on the struggle bus with trying to figure out what maybe is going wrong definitely check out 
maybe some other companies from what you've been using, you might find that different powders work differently, especially with the liquids that you're using. Again, my Magic Combo, Sassy or Model 1's, Azure too, Azure um, dip powders I've, I found recently I really like. But when I talk about Model 1's, I mean they're acrylics. Their dip powders are great, don't get me wrong, but for some reason the acrylics specifically are just so freaking good and it blows my mind a little bit. Anyways, Azure Beauty Liquids, Model 1's, or Sassy Mouth Dip Powder, those are my dream teams, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this application. We're going to get into the white and then I'm going to show you how to do this nail art without using any gel. And I'm going to finish up the manicure with dip top coat too. So if you have been on the struggle bus with your dip top coat, maybe this will help. So I did clear encapsulate those glitter nails just to protect them when I go to buff later, but I want to, I don't know, drill something into your head. <laughs> Scrub your clear with a scrubby brush. Look at the difference between scrubbing and simply brushing. It makes such a huge difference when it comes to the clarity of your nails when you're using clear dip powder. It can sometimes look cloudy or grainy or bubbly, but if you scrub off that clear, granted you want to make sure the nails are set, they're not still wet. But if you scrub the clear off of your nails, your nails are going to be so much more clear Then I'm going to go in and activate. And the reason I'm activating now is because when I'm done with the white nails, these green glitter nails will be ready to file. It was at this moment where I was like, do I want to keep the glitter nails matte? Because I think this glitter specifically would look so beautiful matte, especially for fall. But I do keep them glossy, which you're going to see later on. Okay, so the white dip powder. Again, this is the um, Milky White Whipped Cream Bikini from Sassy Mouth. She also has Whipped Cream Glow Kini, which is the same exact Milky White, but it glows in the dark. So if you're into the glows, you would probably love that one too. I've used it a bunch. It is absolutely fabulous. So I'm gonna do two full dips of this on these three nails, and then we're getting right into the design.
All right, y'all, it's the moment of truth. I have not tried this yet. You are seeing the first attempt at this. I'm gonna take the brush out. I'm not going to leave it on its head, if you will. I'm gonna lay it down sideways because I don't want that base to rush into like the top of that handle. That can glue your bottle shut. Leave it laying on its side. So now I'm going to dip my brush into that base liquid and just do a little squiggly line in the center of the nail. Again, this is for experimental purposes only. I don't even know if it's going to work yet. You're, you're coming along for the journey with me. Once I have that line on the nail, once I can see it's evenly damp, <laughs> I don't want to say the M word, um, once I have it the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and pour over the glitter. I wasn't sure if I wanted to pour over or dip in. I figured let's play it safe and just do a pour over real quick. As you guys know, pour over method is always going to lead to a thinner, more sporadic application. So it worked 100%. I'm so mind blown that this actually worked. I'm going to press down the glitters a little bit and I'm going to go over that glitter line one more time after I dust it off. And I'm going to add in just certain spots a little bit more glitter to have more of a glitter payoff. This could have been avoided if I had just dipped into the powder on the first try. <laughs> <laughs> so do as I say and not as I do. You can go ahead and lay your finger right into those glitters if you want, but I, I did not. So again, I'm just going to go over in a few spots to add some more glitter. And if you're wondering at the end of the day if this was raised at all on the nail, the way you encapsulate this and then buff over it, it is not. This had no texture whatsoever. Again, I was completely mind blown with this. It was so smooth, so even, and I'm gonna give this hack uh, two enthusiastic thumbs up. If you want to do nail art, but you don't wanna use gel, this is going to be the hack for you. So now that I've had the glitter on for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and dust off all the excess glitter. I'm gonna move anything that I want to move now before the base liquid dries. And then I'm going to clear encapsulate. When I encapsulate, you're going to see me press down a good bunch on those glitters. I want to get them as flat as possible so they're more flush to the rest of the nail. And that's going to help create a very, very even surface. And as you're going to see later, all I do is buff over these, all of the nails. I don't really file the top of the nails anymore. I don't need to. So I'm just going to graze over the entire nail with a buffing block and it's going to be super duper smooth. So I'm going to clear encapsulate, activate, I'll do my filing and buffing off camera, and then I come back for dip top coat.
So I did my reshaping and I buffed over all of the nails and this is what we are looking like. I'm going to cleanse away all of the dust and debris before we get into top coat, but that nail is so flush. Mm, I can't believe how good this worked out. Okay, so dip top coat. The key to a glossy dip top coat is activator. Activator is what dries your dip base and your dip top. So I'm going to do one quick coat of activator across all of the nails. I'm going to let that sit and hang out for like 30 seconds. Then I'm going to wipe all of the nails with a dry lint-free wipe. You can use a paper towel. No alcohol, no nothing, just a dry paper towel. That's going to get rid of any activator residue on top of the nail because that can contaminate your dip top coat brush. So dip top coat is kind of a strange creature and it does take a little bit of getting used to because it's not like any other product you've ever used. It's not like nail polish, it's not like gel polish. There's an exact science to it and I don't know why it is. I'm not a chemist, but I'm gonna show you my no fail top coat routine. Again, I'm using my Azure 2-in-1. I love this top coat. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to do only two to three semi quick strokes on each nail wiping off my brush in between each nail that is all we don't need to go crazy you don't need to over manipulate because this is an air dry product it does not like being over manipulated it can dry patchy or matte or i don't know cloudy it just it doesn't dry well if you over manipulate it it dries very uneven so two to three quick strokes, wipe off the brush, back in the bottle, grab more product onto the next nail. Once I have all five nails done, I'm ready for coat number two. This dries pretty quickly, especially over that activator. So you don't have to sit and wait for this to dry for minutes and minutes. Finish your fifth nail and then right onto the second coat. The second coat, I tend to apply the exact same way i hear a lot of people saying you can go slower take more time be more detailed i'm gonna say no <laughs> apply it the same exact way you did the first coat two to three quick strokes cap your free edge wipe off your brush back into the bottle onto the next nail and that's it you don't need to go crazy with dip top coat i don't know what the science is but it's really that simple if for some reason you mess it up let it dry throw some activator on it, buff it off, start over again. You don't have to redo all of your nails because your top coat got messed up or if you smudged it or something like that. Once you have all your nails completely done and top coated, you're gonna let this sit and dry for at least two full minutes. I'm gonna say wait five, just because you don't wanna go through all this trouble all over again. So sit and wait, don't touch anything, don't breathe on them. Let them just sit and be for five whole minutes. Throw on your Netflix, put on some music, take a few sips of your coffee or tea or, or Red Bull, I don't know. <laughs> and then they'll be good to go. So these have now completely dried down. They are beautiful. I love the way these came out. This glitter is so seriously stunning. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And this hack, I can't believe it worked. I'm, I'm so impressed. For all of you with the gel allergies that want to do nail art with dip powder, go forth and do all the nail art. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are and I will catch you in the next one. Love you, bye.